Hey, how's it going, everyone? So today I figured let's look at this Rolling Stone list of some of the best shows of 2023. I'm mainly doing this because I want to give you guys some ideas of shows that maybe you haven't seen. I'm also getting some ideas for myself. And I just like watching TV shows, so I just want to see what uh, 2023 had to offer. I'm going to tell you right now, I've probably seen maybe a handful, if not less, of these shows. Just, uh, just a forewarning. If I have seen the show, I will give my either recommendation, kind of just give you an idea of what I think about it. But let's just get started, because there, there's 10 here. Uh, so this video won't be too long, but... Uh, Hopefully, there's some shows that I can talk about. All right, so number one, uh, Party Down. I've never, never heard of this, probably because it's on Stars. Do you guys remember Stars and Cinemax? Uh, I feel like Stars and Cinemax are like the two out of like the premium uh, channels from cable TV back in the day. Those are like the two that are sort of. Uh, falling off. I want to say they probably both have their own streaming service. Either way, Party Down. Never heard of it. It's on Stars. Uh, let me see who's in it. Adam Scott. I know him. That's about it. I don't know what the show is about. If you guys have seen it, please let me know in the comments and tell me what you think about it. If it's good or not, basically. All right, number nine, uh, Somebody Somewhere. Never heard of it. It's on HBO, though, or Max, if you want to call that. And since I did mention uh, Stars and Cinemax, the other two, HBO and Showtime, they're still going. I feel like HBO has always and will always be the king of, I guess, what you would call premium television. I don't think there's really a thing called premium television anymore, but as far as premium television goes, HBO takes the spot. Uh, anyways, uh, somebody somewhere, again, never seen it. I can't really comment on it, but um, I know this guy. I've seen his face, uh, but that's about it. I don't know this lady, and I can't see this person. All right, number eight, uh, Kunk on Earth. It's on Netflix, so there's that. Oh, uh, wait. Diane Morgan and Black Mirror creator Charlie Brooker have made a series of sketches and miniseries about uh, Philomena Kunk. Philomena? I don't know how to say her name. I, this, this woman looks familiar. Another uh, series I have not seen. Uh, it is on Netflix, though, so I'll probably have to take a look at that. Uh, Blue Eye Samurai. Okay, me... Before you, uh, before the pitchforks start coming at me, I not a, I'm not necessarily not a fan of anime. I just don't watch it, and I think it's because when I was growing up, the only, and I'm doing air quotes here, the only anime that I really watched was like Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon. That's really it. So I can't really say much about this. I'm sure it's good if it's on the list. So, yeah. Number six, Beef. Okay, so this one, me and my dad started watching it. We got a few episodes in, and then we kind of, I don't know if we ate or went to do something, came back to the house, and haven't watched it since. Uh, me, personally, I didn't mind it, but it didn't hook me in the way that I feel like other people got hooked on it. And yeah, I, I don't know if it's because uh, people seem to love dark comedies nowadays. Uh, Ali Wong, great, great job acting. I mean, for a stand-up comedian, and I'm not not bashing all stand-up comedians who have acted, Robin Williams, but uh, Ali Wong did such a good job with acting, even though she's a stand-up comedian. But yeah. On number five, The Last of Us. All right, so this show, I've seen it. I feel like if you haven't seen it, you should watch it uh, because it's incredible. HBO did such, such a good job. I have not played the video game, so I can't personally, um, what do you call it, 
uh, vouch that it's accurate, but from what I've heard, it's very accurate to the game, and it works as a TV show. I, I've heard there's a few things, you know, obviously that they have to add in to add some flair to the show, but overall, I mean, it's just so good for a show. Probably the, I'd say one of the best of 2023, if not the best. All right, Poker Face, I've heard very good things about this. I heard it's about a lady who, uh, I guess, has a gift where she knows if somebody's lying. So, uh, yeah, and she basically goes to different towns for like a week, I guess, and figures out their crimes or whatever. From what I've heard, if you like Columbo, you'll like Poker Face because I've heard it's a lot like Columbo and right here like Columbo so if you like if you liked Columbo back in the day you'll probably enjoy pa uh, Poker Face and it's on Peacock so I mean I think you gotta pay like six bucks so it's not too bad number three succession okay I've heard very 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 good things about this show I kinda sorta know what it's about kind of sort of don't if that makes sense uh, because people seem to have their own interpretation about the show but it's a unanimous uh like yes that it's good so I'm definitely gonna have to watch it eventually but I think there's what four or five seasons so it's gonna take me some time to catch up uh, number two the bear so I did see the bear uh I watched the first season I believe there's a second season already out, but I mean, just, it's so good. Uh, Jeremy Allen White does such a good job as Carmi because he's one of those guys where, if you've noticed, when he gets angry, he turns red. When he gets angry, he's got like a huge vein that goes up his neck. And when he acts angry, it's very telling and it seems like it's very real that he's actually, you know, pissed off in that moment. And that's one of the one of the many many good things about the bear. I mean, the acting's great. Uh the I believe it's one of the last episodes uh or the finale or something like that. Uh one of the episodes it's shot in one take, the whole episode, which I didn't notice at first, but then uh I don't know, maybe a week or two later, I seen like an article or something about it. And I'm like, Oh, I guess it was. And I just didn't realize, but yeah, the bear, I highly recommend if you have Hulu and you haven't seen it yet, you need to watch it right now. And what's number one reservation dogs. Okay. So this is one of those pop culture sort of pushes, but if you've seen any meme videos or anything like that, the guy, the native Indian on the horse, that's where he's from, this show, Reservation Dogs. Uh, I've heard very good things about it. Uh, that's all I can really say. I don't know really anything about this show, if I'm being honest. I know the meme, and I know the name of the show, and that's it. So if you guys can tell me in the comments if you've seen Reservation Dogs, uh, if it's really worth the number one spot, and also comment down below. Let me know if you guys agree with this list. I'll just do a quick scroll while I do my outro here. But if you guys agree with this list, please let me know if you would change anything. Also, let me know because I feel like uh, from like 7 to 10, it's maybe some shows that were under the radar that people seem to like a lot. And then 6 to 1, I think, is where the majority of shows that most people are going to know are going to be at. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you like videos like this, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video.